So let's have a quick video on why we're doing what we do with the pulse with the modulated filter. So we have a everlasting 50% duty cycle square wave. We take the Fourier spectrum of that or the Fourier series and we have something that looks like that. We have 0.5 at omega one, it's something bigger. And then we go down. What we're trying to do is capture the DC part. Because if we look at this signal, right, it's not symmetric about the zero axis, right? It's a, it goes, <clears throat> the amplitude um, is a volt, right? but it's got a DC offset of half a volt to bring it up. So there's a DC part. The longer this is, the bigger the average, the bigger this would go up and down, okay? Now, this won't be quite linear. Um, it's just a, you know, just a picture. So the reason why we use a low pass is because this is the signal we want and we want to get rid of all of these, all right? So low pass, and I'm gonna draw it non body plot style, kind of looks like this, all right? I'm just drawing the half. It keeps my one half. Oh, a little bit of this is getting through and a little bit of those are getting through, but that's what I would get, right? Mm -hmm. Now there's other filters, right? I've, that could be like the Butterworth response. Then there's other filters that look like this that are all low pass, but in general, the Butterworth style is the one to go. Let's come down here. What would a high pass look like? Well, it would look like this, and now you would get rid of the signal you wanted, and you would pass every single sinusoid. And remember, there's an infinite series going out here. So you would get kind of the opposite of what you want. Now let's look at a band pass, all right? And I'm gonna draw it around omega naught, okay? A band pass is actually getting the fundamental frequency of that square wave, all right? Which could be a way to generate a sine wave if um, from a square wave. You know that, but again, we're, we want this signal. The band pass is grabbing that spectrum. All right. Now, what about a notch filter? All right. Well, we could do that and make it perfectly here. And yeah, it gets rid of that perfectly, but then it passes the infinite series. Now you could try adding notches. You know infinitely as we go along. And it might be, um, you know, try it one time, see what you get. But really for pulse width modulation, we're trying to get that DC signal, right? That DC average with a low pass filter. All the other filters are giving you what you don't want. Maybe notch might work, I don't know. Now, where would, where might you want a bandpass filter? Well, if you have a radio signal and you want your radio station at whatever kilohertz that is, that bandpass will capture out just the frequency of the carrier signal that you want. I hope this helps.